Okay, so on 23, I'm going to be simplifying uh, this right here. So I've got 12 and 18 in the numerator, so end it on there. Um, what I'm going to do is divide them both by 6. So I notice if I divide that by 6, I get 2, and if I divide that by 6, I get 3. I'm going to cancel out however many x's I can. Uh, two x's from the uh, denominator with two, leave me with three in the numerator. Five of these with five of those, leave me with four. And two of those with two of those, leave me with two. So what I'm actually simplifying is the square root of two x cubed y to the fourth over three, the square root of three, z squared. Okay, so in the numerator, and I simplify the square root. Um, first, I want to simplify before I rationalize, see if, any, if there's anything I can simplify. Uh, 2 goes into 3 one time, so I know there's an x that can come out. And that leaves me with an x, because 2 goes into 3 one time with 1 left over. Uh, well, I can't do anything to the 2, so I'm going to leave the 2 in there and the x. And then the square root, well, 2 goes into 4 twice. So I've got x, y squared. That looks like it's part of the root. So I've got x, y squared, and then times the square root of 2x, because I said 2 goes into 3 one time with 1 left over, and 2 goes into 4 twice. And in the denominator, 2 goes into 2 one time, so I've got a z in the exterior with just the square root of 3 left inside. <laughs> now the idea is to rationalize, so I need to multiply top and bottom by the square root of 3 to, so that I no longer have a square root in the denominator, which makes this x y squared times the square root of 6x over, that's just 3, so 3z. Three okay. On number 24. 24 is the cube root of 17, and it says rewrite it in exponential form. So I need to think of power and root, um, although the root is power. But uh, 17 is to the first power. If it's not written, it's a 1. So 17 to the 1 over root in the denominator, 1 third. And then on uh, 25, that is just y to the power over root, 10 fourths. Now, I would want you to simplify that to 5 halves. Okay, so it just says rewrite in exponential form. Exponential is where you've got the, uh, the exponent, not the root. Now when it says rewrite in radical form, that means I've got um, the root is the, the one in the denominator, so it's the seventh root of m cubed or the seventh root of m cubed. Either one. On 27, I've got um, a negative power. A negative power means it belongs actually in the denominator, so 1 over y to the 4 fifths. 4 fifths, the fifth is, and the 5 is in the denominator, so that makes that the root, and the 4 the power. So 1 over the fifth root of y to the fourth, or 1 over the fifth root of y to the fourth. So either one of those is acceptable. Okay, on 28. 28 is negative 27 to the 2 thirds power. So that means I'm taking the cubed root of negative 27. You can either say negative 27 squared, or you can say the cubed root of negative 27 and then square your answer. I personally prefer the second one because I want to make the number smaller instead of larger first. And if I don't have a calculator, then I definitely want to do that. So the cube root of negative 27, well, uh, 27 is 3 cubed, and the cube root of a negative is a negative, so it is negative 3. The cube root of negative 27 is negative 3, and then I'm squaring that, which makes it positive 9. Okay? Now on 16, is that, or I'm sorry, 29, it says 16 to the 0.75, which is 16 to the 3 fourths. So I know it was the fourth root. 
of 16 to the third power. I don't know what 16 to the third is, I don't have a calculator. And so I'm just going to go ahead and do the fourth root first and then raise it to the power of 3. And I know that 2 to the fourth is 16, so the fourth root of 16 is 2, and then my answer is 2 cubed, which is 8. Okay, so raising it to that. I'd like to keep working on my video, but I'm too busy staring at people just talking. Star. No, it's still going. What? YouTube meet Abby. Hi. <laughs> um, so, right here, whatever we say yeah. to that, do we... Let's take a moment and take the cute. So you're saying negative two to the fourth power? Yes. Would you take a negative two out? I would think of it as think of it as the cube root of negative one times two to the fourth power. So the cube root of negative one is negative one. Because the cube root of a negative is negative. Mm -hmm. And then how many times is three going to four? One time. So one time with one left over. So that'll be a negative two in the next area. Okay, so it's negative 2 and negative 1 to the second answer. Okay, so on number 30 it says simplify, um, okay, when I look at this, they both have 10x underneath um, the radical, the radicands are both 10x, but one is a square root and one is a cube root, which means I cannot do anything, which means that is my answer. Okay, on, um, because they have different roots. Okay, on number 31, I've got uh, the fifth root of, on both, and I have 2x on both, which means since the radicands and the roots are the same, I can simplify 14 of these plus 3 of these is 17 of these. So that is my answer. Okay, on um, 32, I've got 9x times the cube root of x. And 3 times the cube root of 8x to the 4th. Okay. So I've got the cube root on both. I've got x here and I've got 8x to the 4th. Which right now looks like I can't simplify. But I can um, simplify this cube root. So the cube root of 8 is 2. And um, the cube root of x to the 4th means I've got an x in the exterior. 3 goes into 4 one time with 1 left over. So I've actually got... Um, 9x times the cube root of x minus 6x times the cube root of x. Ugh. So that's 9x minus 6x, that is 3x times the cube root of x. <coughs> okay. On 33. I've got 125x to 6 under the cube root and 27x to 6 under the cube root. So I'm going to go ahead and simplify. I know the cube root of 125 is 5 because 5 cubes is 125. So I've got 5. And then the cube root of x is 6. Well, 3 goes into 6 twice. So that is just 5x squared minus the cube root of 27 is 3 because 27 is 3 cubed. And 3 goes into 6 twice evenly. So that is just 5x squared minus 3x squared, which is 2x squared. On 34, I've got n squared to the one half. So the 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 rule is that when you raise a power and or you raise something to a power and then you have that raised to another power, you multiply the powers. Um, so really, it's two times one half, which is two over two, which is one. Or the two can simplify out, leaving with one, which means this is just n. You could also look at it as n squared, and then the one half power is like a square root. And the square root of the square cancels each other out. Either way, you get in. All right, on the next one, very similar. I'm taking, um, I've got a power raised to another power, so I'm going to multiply three times five thirds. 
And if you multiply across, it's 3 over 1. That is 15 thirds, which is just 5. Or 3 times 5 thirds is just 5. Okay? So either way, I just get that this is the threes cancel each other out. One's in the numerator, if you will, and one's in the denominator. So this is just k to the fifth. Okay. On um, 36, I've got, again, um, I've got four times a half. That is four halves, which is two. So this is just k squared. And then on this one, okay, this one's a little bit more interesting. I've got um, 81a to the 12th to the 5 fourths power. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and write that as the fourth root to the fifth power of 81a to the 12th. Now, there's a couple different ways to do this. So I'll do this this way, and then I'll do the next one, um, or I'll do it again another way. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, do the root first. <laughs> first thing I'm going to do. Um, I want to do the root first. Because you want to make the number smaller before I have to raise it to the fifth power. So the fourth root of 81, if you look at your chart, 81 is 3 to the fourth. So the fourth root of 81 is 3. And 4 goes into 12 three times, so that's a cubed. So that's all that. This is this. And then I'm going to raise it to the fifth power. So I'm going to distribute my fifth power. 3 to the fifth is 243. And then that is a to the 15th. Now, another way to do it would be just to distribute the power from the very beginning and just say 81 to the 5 fourths times a to the 12th to the 5 fourths. Well, um, 12 divided by 4 is 3, so that is just a to the 15th. And this is the fourth root of 81, which you just found was 3, and then 3 to the 5th. So the fourth root of 81 to the fifth power, 3 to the fifth, and that is 243. So you could just distribute the power or work it like that. That's just whatever you want to do. On 38, I've got um, 16x to the 1 fourth, y to the 3 fourths to the negative fourth. So what I think I'm going to do is distribute my power of 4. And um, see what happens, okay? So this is 16 to the negative fourth, which puts it in the denominator, 16 to the positive fourth. Now I've got x to the 1 fourth times negative 4. Remember when you distribute the power, you multiply the powers. 1 fourth times a negative 4 is just a negative 1, because the 4 simplify out. So that is just x to the first in the denominator. And then when I distribute this, I've got 3 fourths times a negative 4, and that is just a negative 3. So that means y cubed in the denominator because it's negative. So the only other thing is to um, fill in what 16 to the fourth is. So if it was a calculator question, um, no big deal. Uh, if it's a non-calculator question, I wouldn't be asking you to, to find 16 to the fourth. 16 to the fourth is actually... Pretty big. Six five five three six x y cubed. Again, if this is non calculator, I would not ex be expecting you to find that with that. Okay. All right. So on this one, um, we're just dividing. So I noticed that six and three. Six divided by three is two. So that's a one and that's a two. And then we just cancel these out just like if, as if they were normal powers. I have 5 thirds on top, 2 thirds on bottom, so I cancel out 2 thirds, leaving me with 3 thirds. And 3 thirds is 1, so I just left with 2x to the first, or just 2x. Alright, on number 40. Um, okay, 2 and 10 simplify by 2, so 1 and 5. And then what I want to do is I want to find a common denominator between my um, powers. So the common denominator between 5 and 2 is 10. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 2 and top and bottom by 5, which makes that um, 6 tenths and 5 tenths. So if we cancel them out, or if we simplify them out, 
I've got five tenths in the denominator, so I cancel out five tenths with five tenths up there, leaving me with just one tenth in the numerator. So that is x to the one tenth divided by just the five. So I've got the one in the numerator I don't need, x to the one tenth, and then over five, and then the x is gone. So I'm going to go ahead and write that as the tenth root of x over five to the first power, so I don't need that. On 41, I'm going to distribute my power. So this is five to the f negative 5 to the first to the second, which means that 1 times 2 is 2. So negative 5 squared is a positive 25. When I multiply this, I've got a to the 2 times 1 fifth is 2 fifths. And when I multiply 2 times 2 thirds, I get 2 times 2 thirds is 4 thirds, so b to the 4 thirds. If I had to write them, oh, I'm not even showing you. <laughs> Sorry, negative 5 squared is 25. Um, a to the 1 fifth times 2, so that is 2 fifths. And then 2 thirds times 2 is 4 thirds. So if I were to write this as roots, then I would say 25 times the fifth root of a squared times the cubed root of b to the fourth, which could technically be simplified, but oh well. You could take a b out. Okay. So now on these. Guys, if you're having trouble focusing, you could potentially just watch what I'm doing and work with me. Because some of us are having trouble focusing. What? Probably not. We'll see. All right, so I've got um, this expression I need to multiply. So I've got 2 times 7, that's 14. I've got x to the 1 third and x to the 4 thirds. So when I'm multiplying and I have two bases, I add the power. So 1 third plus 4 thirds is 5 thirds. And then um, I've got two bases, so I need to add 2 sevenths plus 5 sevenths is 7 sevenths, which is just 1. So I've really got 14 y times the cubed root of x to the fifth. Um, I put the y in front just because it's in front of the, the root. Uh, if you wanted to, I'm not going to require it on these problems right here, but um, maybe a bonus if you go ahead and do it. Just like on that one, I could have said 25b times the, fourth root, the fifth root of a squared times the cubed root of b, because 3 goes into 4 one time with 1 left over. On this one, 3 goes into 5 one time with 2 left over. So, I could write it like that. Alright, on number 43, I need to distribute my powers and put everything where they belong. So, Here we go. Two to the negative third just means two to the third in the denominator, and two cubed is eight. So that is eight. X to the negative third to the negative second, or x to the negative second to the negative third, just means multiply negative two times negative three, it's positive six. So it stays in the numerator. Um, do y to the third to the negative third is y to the negative nine, which means it belongs in the denominator as y to the positive nine. Okay, I've got a two in the numerator. I've got an x to the fourth in the numerator. I've got a y to the fifth in the numerator. And I've got a 
z to the negative 1, which means it belongs in the denominator as z to the positive 1. I don't need that time sign, but whatever. Okay, um, now I have uh, the denominator. So I'm going to say negative 2. This is a negative 2 to the first, and I'm squaring it. Negative 2 squared is positive 4. So that's in the denominator. It doesn't have a negative power, so just, it just stays. Um, I've got x to the fifth to the second. That is x to the tenth. It stays down there. It's got a positive power. I've got um, z, or sorry, y. y to the negative second to the second. That's y to the negative fourth, which means it belongs in the numerator as y to the positive fourth. And in the denominator, the last one I've got is z to the eighth, four and two. So z to the eighth is positive, so it stays down there. So now what I need to do is combine, or simplify, I guess. Yeah, no, no, no. Um, it really is up to you on where you go from here. I could see multiple ways of just like starting to simplify. So I notice that I have 6, and I have 4, and I have 10. Um, so I have 6 and 4 in the numerator, which means 10. And I have 10 in the denominator, there, which means they're all gone. I notice that I have um, 5, and I have 4, and I have 9. I have 9 in the numerator, 9 in the denominator, so they're all gone. <coughs> um, 2 can simplify with the 8 or the 4. It doesn't really matter. That's 1, and that's 4. And then those combine. So I'm really just left with 1 over 4 times 4, which is 16, z to the 9. And that is my final answer. OK, let's go with 44. So 144. You need to be very careful about your parentheses. These parentheses refer to the power of 4, so everything in the numerator has a power of that 4. And then in here, I've got the power of 6. So I'm going to apply the power of 6 first. I'm not going to show any. OK, so I'm going to rewrite it. Now, you can, you can distribute however you want to. If you want to distribute the 4 to the 6 and the 4 to the negative 3, and then distribute 24, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and just do this first. a to the 4 to the 6 is a to the 24th. And b to the second, negative 2nd to the 6 is b to the negative 12. Now when I distribute my 4, I'll put everything where they go. Where it belongs. OK. So first I've got a to the 24th to the 4th, that is a to the um, 96th, and that is positive, so it belongs in the numerator. Now I've got um, b to the negative 12 to the 4th, that is b to the negative 48th, so it belongs in the denominator, that is b to the 48th. Um, b to the negative 3rd to the 4th is b to the negative 12, so it belongs in the denominator, is b to the 12th. In my denominator, I have a to the third. It's a positive power, so it stays there. And b to the zero, anything with zero power is one. So anytime it has zero power, I just mark it out because it doesn't change anything. OK, so I need to combine and simplify. So and cancel out three of those, so three of those leave me with 93 in the numerator. And I combine those. 48 plus 12 is 60. So I've got a to the 93rd over b to the 60th. On 45, let's just start simplifying. <coughs> I've got u to the negative 1 to the negative 1 half, which means I've got u to the positive 1 half. Negative 1 times negative 1 half is positive 1 half. Over. Now I've got u to the negative 2, which means it u squared belongs in the numerator. I've got v to the negative 3 fourths, which means that belongs in the numerator. 
well, in fact. <laughs> um, I've now got, okay, seven fourths and then to the negative third. So that it that means seven over four times a negative three. That is a negative twenty one fourths. It's in the denominator with a negative power. That means it belongs in the when Sophie gets back or Sophie. Uh, so that belongs in the numerator. So that is u to the positive twenty one fourths. And then I've got um, v to the two-thirds times a negative three. The threes can simplify out, or negative six-thirds. Either way, you get a negative two, which means v squared belongs in the numerator. So all over one, so I don't really need the denominator anymore. Okay, so when I'm multiplying, I need to add their powers. So I've got u to the one-half plus two plus 21 fourths times v to the three-fourths plus 2, which means I need to um, find a common denominator so I can add them. Okay. So the common denominator is 4, so I need to multiply the top and bottom of this one by 2. This is over 1, so I need to multiply the top and bottom by 4. So that is 2 fourths plus 8 fourths plus 21 fourths. That is 10, that is 31 fourths. So u to the 31 fourths times, that's over 1, and the common denominator is again 4, so times 4. So that is 3 fourths plus 8 fourths, that is v to the 11 fourths. If you wanted to, we could write it as the fourth root of u to the 31st times the fourth root of v to the 11. You could also write it as the fourth root of u to the 31st, v to the 11th, which simplifies. 4 goes into 31 seven times, that's 28. Leave me with um, 3. And 4 goes into 11 three times. Oh, 2, I was just kidding. That's 8 with 3 left over. Anyway, I'm okay if you stopped here or here, or if you did this, maybe a bonus if you did that. <coughs> okay, last one. I need to distribute the power um, outside the parentheses and then go from there. So I've got 3 squared, which is 9. I've got m to the 1 fourth squared, so that is one fourth times two, which is two fourths or one half, or you can simplify the two and the four. So I've got n to the one half, and then I've got two times negative two, which is negative four, which means it belongs in the denominator, n to the positive four. Now I do this. There should be the power of one half. So 16 to the 1 half power. Now that, I'm going to go ahead and simplify. That is the square root of 16 to the first power, which is just 4. So that is just a 4 in the numerator. Now I've got um, 1 half to the n, so that is n to the 1 half. And right here, I've got m to the negative 3 to the 1 half, so that is negative 3 halves, which means it belongs down here, negative 3 halves. Oh, positive, sorry. I just put it down there. It becomes positive. Okay. Now, um, if I s I'm going to assess what I need to simplify. 4 times 9 is 36. Um, the m's, I have 1 half and 3 halves. They already have a common denominator, so that 1 half cancels out with 1 half, leaving me with 2 halves, and 2 halves is 1. So I've got m to the first in the denominator. And then n's, they don't have a common denominator. So the common denominator between 2 and 1 is uh, 2, so I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 2. So I have 8 halves in the denominator, and I have 1 half in the numerator. So 1 half cancels out with 8 halves, leaving me with 7 halves, so n to the 7 halves. Or, the square root of n to the 7, which equals 2 goes into 7 3 times. So mn cubed times the square root of 7 
and if you wanted to rationalize, again, I'm, I'm not, I'm saying you could have stopped right here, and I would have been okay. But just to keep going, just because I can. Thirty-six square roots is seven over. Um, square root of seven times square root of seven is seven, so that is seven m n cubed. Just a thought, combining everything. Okay. And that is that.